By the end of this video, you're gonna be able to make awesome audio visualizers in After Effects, just like Trap Nation. So, first things first, create a new composition and name it for example, one. Make sure the duration of this composition is matched with the duration of your song. Hit OK, and then basically just import your song file and your logo layer. I'm not gonna add the background image for now, but you can just add that as well. Now, create a new solid layer and name it Audio Spectrum. Go to the effects and presets panel and search for audio spectrum. Drag this effect onto the solid layer we just created and set the audio layer to your song. I'm just gonna hide the logo layer for now so we can better see our audio spectrum. As you can see we already have a basic audio spectrum effect going on that is matching with our song but the point of this video is to make this basic audio spectrum effect as awesome as possible. And in order to do that, just follow me closely. So in the effect controls, set the start point to P0, set the end point to be 960, make sure to set the end frequency and change its value to 125, change the frequency bands to 500, the maximum height to 1250, the audio duration to 180, the audio offset to minus 20, and last but not least, set the thickness to be around 7. And after copying these settings, you should see this effect going on. But of course we're not done there, so... Change the side options right here to side B. And then go back to the effects and presets panel and search for polar coordinates. Drag it onto your layer. And any effect controls, change the type of conversion to rec to polar. And change the level of interpolation to 100%. We now have a half circle. And to complete this circle, we gotta go back to the effects and presets panel. And we gotta add the mirror effect. There you go. All you have to do now is set the reflection center to be 960. You can also change the inside and outside colors. I'm just gonna set these colors to be white. Now unhide your logo layer and resize it a little bit. Let's take a closer look at what we've done so far. But before leaving, we gotta add that Trap Nation touch where the logo kinda bounces out and matches with the song. And in order to do that, select all of your layers in your timeline and right click them. Then choose Pre-Compose and click OK. Go back to the Effects and Presets panel once again and this time search for Magnify. Drag it onto your Pre-Composed layer. In the Effect Controls, change the magnification to 100 and change the size to 1100. Set the blending mode to none. I just realized my microphone stopped working right here, so I have to record this part again. <sighs> Alright, so I added the background image onto my composition. And if you're still here, great news, you only have one step left to complete. Go to your project panel and right click this area here. Click on new composition, name it the word 2 and click OK. In this new composition, drag your original song file onto the timeline. And once you've done that, right click your song layer. Expand Keyframe Assistant and then click on Convert Audio to Keyframes. Next, expand the Audio Amplitude option right here. Expand the Effects option and then delete the right channel and the left channel options. Last but not least, go back to your original composition, which we humbly named 1. And then in the effect controls, click the stopwatch of the magnification setting while holding Alt at the same time. You're gonna find an expression in the description of this video. Just copy it and paste it here. Make sure to put your second composition name in these brackets here, where it says comp. In my case, the composition I made is name 2, and then basically hit enter. If your logo bounces up too much, you can increase the value right here, from 5 to 20 for example. And that's about it really. That's how you make a simple audio visualizer in the same style of Trap Nation, without using any plugins. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out this next tutorial.